here what's going on everybody it's Alpha King Carter here the Superman of YouTube yes yeah, true guys I am the star of the NBA Philadelphia 76ers now um, as you can see in the clip before you know I was the main man I was the star of the team um, it seems like they've traded everybody away um, I have no superstars on my team whatsoever. Um, it's just a bunch of us, you know, role-playing guys getting together, trying to make a team. Um, they gave away Andre Iguodala to the Indiana Pacers for uh, Eddie George. They also gave us Kevin Martin for about five games, but ended traded him away for uh, Earl Boinkins. I don't know what type of trade that was, but I guess they needed a backup point guard, you know, so they wouldn't have to make me play 48 minutes. <laughs> But um, today I want to give you guys a few uh, pointers on how to get to the rim, just like I did right there, and how to get easy assists. A lot of people are having trouble, you know, even with the pre and post patch game plays, people can't pass, people can't get to the rim, even if, you know, you're, you're trying your hardest, it's an open lane, you get bumped, you get fouled, everything. Now, the first thing I want to touch on is passing. Check out that dime I just gave the space right there. What you can do to try to pass, instead of trying to do pick and rolls and run plays, how about you call it isolation? And then once you call it isolation and you drive to the basket, look and see what defender comes over and tries to help you. Now, when I mean by help you, I mean help the, their teammate. Now, look, I'm calling isolation play, right? Now, you see how nobody's sliding? Nobody's sliding whatsoever, so I just take it to the rim myself. Now, that's how you get to the rim. You got to get yourself to the paint by using the post-up moves and everything like that. But when it's times when you drive the lane and someone slides, all you got to do is kick it to the person of the defender that slid. And then you're just it's golden from there. Now, as I hit that three-point shot, you know, the time is winding down. But check out check out this little play Earl Boink is going to throw me real fast, man. I don't even know why Earl Boink is in the game, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, look at this. George gets the ball. I'm going to just keep trying to pass. Now, check out Spates right here, man. Look at this play. Look at the personal foul. Now I'm on the bench. Personal foul. Oh, man. Let's get into the halftime. Um, I'm going to talk more about the assist and, and uh, getting to the paint soon. First half live from Philadelphia. You're watching two. And hello and welcome to this edition of HB at the Half. Let's get you caught up with the latest here in the NBA's midseason action. Toronto leading against Philadelphia. I don't think that they can play any better. They're shellacking a more talented team. A tremendous first half for Jose Calderon. At the break, 11 points. And in addition to that, he's been a factor on the glass as well. A couple of helpers, too. And for Philadelphia, they've really been battling. They find themselves sitting in the sixth spot in their conference. They've got the paint on lockdown. The front court has just packed it in. Maurice Spates certainly playing well so far. He's picked up half a dozen points, also has come away with five rebounds. Some fantastic play from these two. You can see it early on. Hopefully they can keep it going in the third. It's been fun. And now let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. It was the Bobcats with the win against the Magic in Orlando. Ended up running away with it. All right, everybody. Back to the assist and get into the room. All right, check out this play right here. I give it to Spates, and Spates just does his thing. He gets to the rim for an assist. Now, one thing about getting to the rim, you guys, you can't just drive in for a layup or a dunk without getting bumped. So what I will say to you guys... Oh, check out. This is the exact play. Assist. Look at that. Look how he slid over to try to help me not get to the rim. Just just kick it to him. Now, like I was saying to get to the rim, guys, what you want to do is you want to try to hop step your way to the rim, right? But don't follow through on your shot. Take it up and pump fake. Now, what happens when you pump fake is your defender is going to jump as well as the center isn't going to know what to do. So you'll have a, actually an easier way trying to lay it up in the paint than anything else. Now, check out this right here. Pump fake. And I just made the shot. You know, all you got to do is pump fake it, man. You don't got to try to do no glitch or anything like that. Just pump fake your way to the rim and you're guaranteed a point. It's, it's easy as pie. Now check out this. Another quick assist, man. Stop trying to slide over and help defense or you're going to get burnt all game long. All right. As we're on a fast break, hop step, pump fake. 
Look, easy. It's just it's just that easy, man. All you got to do is hop step, pump fake, layup. It's as easy as that. That's my new formula to get to the rim on NBA 2K12 for any small guys out there. Not, you know, 6'4", 6'5", 6'6 point guards. But for you guys that's 6'3 and below, if you're trying to get to the rim and it's hurting you because you can and you're getting turnovers and all of that, trust me, do that. Uh-oh, check out this play right here, you guys. Like the way I did that, right? All right, the third quarter is coming to an end. This is one last play until we get into the fourth right here. The third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. 76ers on top. They lead by one. Tune in this Thursday, Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls go up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat. Hoops action. Fourth quarter getting going here. It's time for our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Let's go to Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, our Spark of the Game in this one, the stretch by the 76ers. A big offensive outburst in the third period is what has them in the lead right now. There's still a lot of work to be done, and anything can... All right, people, I'm back. All these clips that are being shown in this game are easy ways to get assists and buckets in the paint. If you guys have to watch this video five times straight, I'm telling you watch it because you're going to start seeing simple things that you need to do in order to get assists and get to the rim. Look at that. That should have been off of him, but it was off of me. It ain't nothing I can do about it. But yeah, guys, if you want assists and you want to get to the rim with easy. Oh, come on. Easy pickings, baby. Easy. Move. Move, ye. Oh, ye, ye. What the heck? Oh, I tried. Uh, are you serious? I tried to pass it to Yee and they passed it to Boinkins. That's retarded. But it's cool, though. I'm going to get the rebound. I'm going to see if I can get it to my man Yee. I owe him a bucket. You know, I got to get an assist with him real fast. That was stupid. Look, trying to help defense. Easy pickings, man. I'm telling you, it's easy to get assists on here, you guys. It's really not hard. Just don't try that pick and roll stuff. And don't try to pass it in the middle of the lane or it's going to get picked off. Simple as that. Hop step, pump fake. Layup. That's all it's about, guys. <laughs> all right. Now, um, in the next clip, I'm gonna show you another easy, easy assist right here, man. Check out this back down pass. That's another way to get easy assists, guys. Back down your man and look at the cutter in the lane. As simple as that. I'm telling you, it's so simple. Oh, for the time bucket cash money i'm just saying yeah but um i will be bringing you guys more of my player videos i know i've been slacking it, oh can i get a block give me that <laughs> but yeah i know i've been slacking on my my player videos i'm sorry guys it's just that you know i got real frustrated with 2k for about two weeks and it seemed like i didn't want to play anymore but you know it is the love of the game um about the nba lockout some people are saying that you know if the meeting goes well that's going to be happening today that we may get an NBA season by December. Uh, if they don't come to any agreements, then of course, you know, the season may be canceled. But it is what it is, man. Um, I pray that we do have an NBA season. Uh, it's it's coming down to the end of the game. Another easy assist for me to Spates. Spates had to have about 25 this game, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, if you want to win on Hall of Fame, you got to put up stupid numbers. I'm talking like 40, 20, and, and 10 steals. If you want to win comfortably, you got to put up those numbers. Now, that's another easy assist. Um, my man Wazen now said that that type of play right there used to get you a bad, a bad pass, and you wouldn't even get the assist. But I somehow got it there. It's not my fault. But uh, the game is winding down. Uh, you know, we had to win it. Of course, you know, it's Toronto. I had to do my thing. Barbosa is trying to score. You know, he's trying to bring his team back. I would have pulled for the three if I was him, but peace. Oh, missed it. 
So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game. Really impressive game from you tonight. It seemed like you could do no wrong. What are your thoughts on the game and how you played? What are my thoughts? Come on, man. This is a boss talking. Of course you already know what I was doing, man. Don't act like you didn't see the tape. I was doing my thing out there, man. I don't know why Kevin Martin is sitting next to me. Where's Evan Turner? Kevin Martin, are you hurt or something? I don't listen, 2K, what are you doing with these trades? Y'all killing me. This is what it is. Y'all guys are just stupefied right now. That's not even a word. You guys are killing me. Like, please, can we get a patch that's better than the previous patch that was put out? The patch that was just put out messed up my total shoe endorsement. That's why I can't even wear my sneakers. You got listen, you guys are killing me. You know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm getting up. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I can't take this shit anymore. Fuck that. You know what? Just give him a stupid ass answer. Fuck. Things just seem to be clicking for me tonight. You know, sometimes you get into a groove and everything else just falls into place. I thought the team played really well overall, too. It wasn't just me, man. When we're all on the same page, it makes such a huge difference. And most importantly, we won the game. But we expect to win when we play the way we know we're capable of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another typical answer to get all thumbs up. It is what it is. IKC signing out. Peace.